Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Michelle. And if you're new, hi, welcome. This is your soul, soul purpose reading. Um, again, remember that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that this are general reading. Keep an open mind. And this is not, again, a personal. It's a general. So again, that is that. And with that said, let's take a look. Let me just let, let go of my hair. I had it like this so uh, let's see i was just taking care of my kid he was being difficult but now he's taking a nap so yay me so let's see what we got for you scorpio let's see scorpio so we got birthing a new age birthing new creation dreaming a new world into being so there's gonna be changing i feel like you're gonna have you're not gonna have but you're gonna go through an awakening transformation um you're either in rama i don't know i can't even pronounce this in rama i believe where are you being called to journey to so this right here it's just like it was hard for me to read um you have been called like this awakening this transformation is gonna actually give you some sort of like like it's a calling like you are called for to do something your journey is about to start but why i keep saying something because you really do not know what it is um again maybe this hasn't started yet but you're soon gonna go through an awakening can we clarify the last card please so i can give a better explanation about what's going on please and thank you so i can find the words your guidance is divinely guided so you're being oh my god divinely guided to step up to get they're gonna get you and take you out of your comfort zone um i see that they're gonna actually make not make you but in a way make you relocate there's gonna be big changes in your life that is gonna actually be attributed by this awakening because you're not gonna see life the same you're gonna actually have like a different taste for life and life um understanding just so you know that this journey is going to be a little bit harsh. It could be a little bit difficult, but you're not alone. You are being divinely guided. So meaning that this is the right path whenever it happens, if it hasn't happened already. Break the chain, ancestor patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So you are not the past, okay? We are not the past. And we live, we learn. And right now, because of whatever you have been going through in life or you have gone through in life, it is not for you to think that this is who I am. It defines me. No, this is for you to understand that Things happen for a reason, as a cliche as it sounds, but you are capable of healing, learning, and moving on. You are a inspiration, inspiration for some people. I don't know what I was going to say like that. Inspiration for people. So just step out of that cave. Stop hiding. Step up free and show the world, the world who you really are. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. So this is my favorite card of the deck. It's pretty much telling you that you are ascending, first of all, and you soon will have the answers to all your questions because you are the oracle. Again, when this card pops up, means for me, that is like you have the answers and you are capable of rewriting your present and your future powerful Scorpio you're powerful yeesh divine power boom so we have mirror who or what are you or is triggering you and then we got deep replenishment retreat rest be held so if it's somebody that's surrounding you that's toxic it could be family members it could be a friend it could be a relationship it's time to reconsider those people you know your it's time to reconsider your cycle your circle of friends okay it's time for you to pretty much retreat this is withdrawing from this per this people this person not necessarily to ignore them but it's time for you to either or excuse me meditate do yoga or as well as going out on the nature on nature to have a walk so you can actually connect with your higher self connect with your ancestors connect perhaps with your divine guidance so you can actually understand and understand why is it triggering you why is that sometimes you change you trying to change but change does not happen the way you want or why is that certain patterns you seem to be repeating them and you be like oh my god i can't see the patterns but how is it that I can't avoid that. You know what I'm saying? It's like a feeling. It's hard to explain. 
share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution expression. Did I not tell you to get out of the cave before this card even popped out? So it's time for you to stop keeping your light in you, stop keeping your magic, stop keeping your true self within yourself because you could actually come from a very conservative family. This could also be um, afraid of what people might think, you know, like this is just you keeping your true self hidden because of what people might think, like keeping it in the closet. Like it could be also like a closet witch. Like I was one once. So I'm telling you that once you start opening up and telling people who you really are, telling people how you really feel, like the throat chakra right here, um, you're gonna understand that life looks different. Like life looks brighter is bigger it's more happy when you start being your true self and there's a lot of people out there like you like i was at one time and let me tell you that you can help other people you could be an example to other people to see like hey it is not easy it's harsh but it gets better you're gonna find if you do that you're gonna be able to find your your people your sisterhood your families your soul tribe Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling again? You got this, okay? You got this. You should not be afraid of that because you have been preparing for this for a long time. You are capable, you're strong, and you have the tools to do so. So whatever it is, it could be spirituality, it could be anything in life that you're actually trying to hide because it's too harsh, because sometimes people make you believe that you are weaker than what you really believe, but you are not weak, honey boo. You're a warrior. You're like a guerrera here, you know? Like you have the sword, you have the power, you have the light, you have the divine guidance. You can do this. You have the capability and the power of making your choices and making your life a lot lighter. But it's only in your hands to do so. It's time, to, I heard, it's time to step up and and defend your beliefs and who you are that's what i heard and then get grounded empath highly sensitive connect with nature like i said before i know this is a lot to take in and this could be like oh my god how can i do this like i don't know how to do this right so pretty much it's time you can start with start concentrating start meditating start connecting with again your higher self your ancestors with yoga meditation go back and buy like maybe get reiki get some like crystals like healing crystals you know go out on the park and have an, an, an a walk you know like again there's steps but you need to start relaxing start start healing and start um connecting they're calling you they want you to connect you're gonna be actually start uh, hearing a lot of ringing in your ears um you're gonna start seeing things like like something moving and like in the air i don't know how to explain it um you're gonna start seeing a lot of like numbers some sort of songs that you go like oh my goodness like what's going on like you might be singing a song in your head and then boom something shows up and like related to that song like something like that so it's like weird things that you that is not normal it's actually they're trying to get your attention you already you are already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north This is awesome. You're actually doing it. You're doing a good job. I think that you feel that like you are needing to prove a lot more, that you think that you have to show more, do more, but by little by little, as tiny as, start taking care of yourself, start meditating, start connecting with nature, start connecting with your ancestors, you know? And you can do that quietly. You don't have to announce it, right? Just by doing things that benefit you and benefit your spiritual growth, and who you are as a person, even if it's quietly, you're already doing it. You don't have to post it on Facebook or Instagram, you know? It's you and them. The great gathering, it's all coming together, intuitive hints, soul tribe. I got it. Everything's gonna make sense, like I said before. They're trying to get your attention. I said your soul tribe. And I was like on this specific reading to tell all my beautiful, beautiful subscribers that this is a safe space, okay? If it's about spirituality, you're welcome here. You're welcome to ask questions. Here, you're not judged. Here, you are just loved and understood. This is not a place to judge. This channel is a place to give guidance 
clarity from spirits and of course to teach and of course we can actually learn from each other because learning is always a nice thing to do like life is amazing life is endless for us to know everything in life and those who believe that honey boo are never capable of growth and you are capable of growth and more but it's time to find your people time to find the right resources the right research for you to do and become what you really want And, oh my goodness, my son, <laughs> he scared me. So hold on. And that's that, that was my son. But like I said before, it's all coming together. You all have so many, so many gifts, right? And we all are so different, but so alike. So we all go through these awakenings that are so confusing. And only people who can connect, you can feel my energy, you can feel the energy of this reading. This is meant for you. Because the only thing that they want to do is tell you that you're not alone that you're not crazy and that you are here for a reason and you click on this video for a reason i know that a lot of people say that but i do mean it from the bottom of my heart you are welcome you are special and you are capable of doing a lot more that what people maybe have made you believe you might be different but that makes you unique and keepers on earth you are not alone ancient ancestor stands beside you and the last thing i want to tell you you are not alone you have been so blessed because you have so many ancestors spiritual guides angels whatever you want to call perhaps somebody on heaven that's watching over you you're not alone telling you that you're doing great and every step on the way you have company you maybe not see them but you feel them and once you understand what is their language how they communicate with us you're gonna understand that you have never been alone and they told me to get one more card what lights you up Right now, it feels like happiness and like understanding is far away, but it's not. You just need to get out of shore and maybe perhaps swim to what you want. Things are not gonna come to you. You gotta actually make it happen sometimes. But it's understandable that you might not feel ready, right? But little by little becomes a lot. So start with meditating start with getting info start to get to you know to find your people and start getting confidence but again everything will make sense eventually everything gonna get together and it's gonna make sense for you i'm just not gonna waste my time uh, waste your time and my time trying to tell you something that it might seem like it no, makes no sense but it will be soon and then longing for home belonging the original light workers Sometimes you feel like you're out of this world. Like I said before, you're not weird. You're just unique. You're not from this. We're not from this world. We're like spiritual beings and you have awakened. So again, you're going to start seeing life and understanding different than any other person. So before I go, Unbound, it says, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. When we awaken, we have to endure a lot of things such as patterns and past lives that we don't do not always understand but you got to be aware that you're not responsible for your past anymore the past is there for a reason it was what it was and is there for a reason for us to learn you do not need to bring the past into your present or future you got to let the past be the past of course not to hide it understand it but learn from it that is the only way that you can actually achieve this feeling of wanting to belong and wanting to do something that is not it's often misunderstood you know what i'm saying and before i go i'm gonna give you like a couple cards from this beautiful deck let's see what the spiritual guys have for you dignity love elegance bravery bottom persistence so persistence is pretty much self-explanatory things are not gonna be easier just because we are waiting right life is gonna be life no matter who we are dignity and love keep in mind that love is kind love is patient and again whoever makes you feel like less of a person and i'm talking about love not only romantic but love in general whoever treats you like less of a person you got to understand that love goes with respect and if they can't do that it's not real love.
and elegance right here. Pretty much what I say to people, this is what my intuition is telling me, kill them with, with kindness, kill them with kindness. You don't need to pay somebody the same way they, pay, they did to you. You don't have to pay them or make them pay back the, the same way they did to you, you know, or did them the same way you did to them. I mean, or did, <laughs> did to them the same thing they did to you. Got confused there, so sorry. Um, again, you don't have to do that. With elegance and with kindness, you can always often make them feel the way they make you feel. You know, like karma is often quiet and very elegant. That's all I'm going to say. I know I got confused with words, but pretty much kill them with kindness and take it however the best resonates for you. And again, be brave and persistent because this is just the beginning. Okay, honey boo? And before I go, like I always do, let me just give you a card. The first one, moon cycles and angel therapy. Moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon the cycles. And then give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Again, you're not alone. Take advantage of your angels and ancestors. So this is the end of your reading. Thank you so very much. I hope I was able to help you. Again, I love you so very much. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more readings.